Our day will start with astronaut Anne McLean as EV-1 in the red stripes and Nicole Ayers as EV-2. Nicole will carry an eight-foot long strut bag and Anne will carry the tool bag. Both crew members will translate to the port side of the International Space Station, heading to the work site of the Modification Kit Structure or Mod Kit. At that location, they will secure their two bags and begin the installation activity. Nicole will start the modification activity by removing the strut out of the bag to assemble the upper triangle. The upper triangle consists of two struts and a mounting bracket. Nicole will then hand the triangle to Anne who will install it on the mass canister of the beta gimbal assembly or BGA structure. The crew will then proceed with the installation of the right lower strut and the right mid strut on the right side of the mast canister. After that, the crew will move to the left side of the mast canister to perform the same order of operations, beginning with the left lower strut followed by the left mid strut. Once all the struts are installed, the crew will cover both mid struts with multi-layer insulation or MLI and route the cables of the rollout solar array in support of future spacewalks. This step concludes the Mudkit installation. The next stop is the relocation of the Common Communications for Visiting Vehicle Boom, or C2B2. The crew will begin by translating to the worksite located on the P3 truss segment of the integrated truss structure, also on the port side of the vehicle. The crew will start by removing the C2B2 boom from the base, attaching an extension to the base, and installing the boom at the end of the extension. This action shifts the antenna boom by a foot and a half, clearing the antennas from structural blockage. These steps conclude the relocation of the C2B2 boom. Finally, Nicole translates back to the P4 location to pick up the tool bag, while Anne starts her translation back to the airlock. Shortly after, Nicole begins her translation back to the airlock as well. Both crew members will ingress the International Space Station through the airlock, completing their planned 6 hours and 30 minutes spacewalk.